If you're playing back tracks in Ableton Live's arrangement view, then you're going to run into this issue. You step on stage, you go to press play, and suddenly two things are happening. One, all your tracks are grayed out, but most importantly, you can't hear any audio. So in this video, I wanna talk about how to quickly solve that, but then two, explain what it is, why it's happening, and how to make sure it never happens again. So if you ever experience this, the first thing you should do is uh, in the upper right-hand corner of live screen, if you're in arrangement view, you'll see this button suddenly pops up, this orange button here, which is called back to arrangement. If you're viewing session view, you'll see the same button, but in the bottom right-hand corner of the master track. So all you have to do to get your tracks playing again and to uh, get the, the grayed out state of them to go away is click this button, uh, press play, and suddenly your tracks will be working again. But now let's talk about what this is, why it's happening, and how to prevent it from happening again. So Ableton, when they created live, they created the program with two main views. So we already talked about arrangement view here. If we press tab, then we have session view and we can play back audio in both of these views, arrangement view and session view. Uh, but what Ableton wanted to do is give us some sort of notifier, some sort of signal to let us know, are we hearing audio that's playing in session view or arrangement view? And as a general principle, they kind of decided that, hey, session view will always win. If I'm playing audio in session view, view and an arrangement view, then session view will always be the thing that wins. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. If I am pressing play in arrangement view, playing audio, and I go and launch a scene over in session view, you'll see that back to arrangement view button lights up. Uh, my tracks are grayed out, and that's because I try to play launch a scene, which in theory is playing audio, triggering MIDI, doing something in session view, uh, which is going to win. So session view is always going to win. And so the way to get around that, again, if you need to solve it. If it happens, click back to arrangement and you're back in business. And it's essentially happening because something other than the pre-recorded arrangement in arrangement view is happening. Primarily, you launched the scene, triggered a clip in session view. Now, let me show you one other state that you may find yourself in. Uh, so in this uh, scenario, I triggered a scene and that like wiped out all my audio. But what you may end up doing is triggering a clip in an individual track. And in that case, if I walk over, you'll see um, the rest of my tracks are, are fully colored. They look the way they were before, but this one individual track is grayed out. So I still see my back to arrangement view button, but I also have this button here, which is the single track back to arrangement. And what that essentially means is that's showing me that, okay, something's happening in the markers track that's different than the recorded arrangement in arrangement view. And what's happening differently here is audio is playing back in session view. So if I ever see that, all I have to do is click this button uh, or click that back to arrangement view button to get back to there. Now let's talk about how to make sure this doesn't happen again. Now this is a, a core reason why I do not suggest using both session and arrangement view at the same time on the same computer while performing on stage. Now there are some, some fringe scenarios where I've done that. Uh, I create a fade in and fade out clip in session view that allows me to do that. Um, I've used pad player or used drone pads before triggering them in session view uh, that are different than arrangement view. Uh, there's reasons to do it, but you have to be very aware of what you're doing. You gotta be very intentional if you're doing that so that you don't end up in a scenario where suddenly your audio doesn't work in arrangement view. And that's super important because if you step on stage and something goes wrong, you get the fog of live performance and you, you get kind of stressed and you're not sure exactly what's going on. Um, and so as a general principle, I suggest if you're in arrangement view, stay in arrangement view. If you're in session view, then stay in session view. Uh, and if you do that and you avoid launching clips or launching scenes in session view while audio and arrangement view is playing, then you'll never ever have that issue. Again, if you're gonna try to use both of them at the same time, make it very intentional and fully understand what you're doing and in general, you can do that. You could trigger some stuff in session view while arrangement view is happening, but make sure that you're triggering individual clips and not triggering scenes. Because as soon as I launch a scene, again, back to arrangement, uh, it comes on and I lose all of my audio in arrangement view. So that's an explanation of back to arrangement, how to click that button to disable it, how to get back to arrangement, it's it's appropriately named, and how to make sure you can always hear your audio in arrangement view. Now, there may be some other scenarios where maybe you're trying to record, uh, maybe you're trying to use a MIDI uh, controller and can't hear audio, or maybe you're trying to use your microphone in Ableton Live and can't hear audio. I've linked to those videos in the description of this video uh, because there's some other reasons why you may not 
not be here in audio. So make sure you check those out. Now, finally, if you want to learn how to use Ableton Live on stage uh, to perform, to play back tracks, then head to from studio to stage.com slash free. I've assembled a, a ton of free resources uh, that are available to you that are going to help you go further faster to understand how to perform on stage with Ableton Live. And it's really going to benefit you and it costs you absolutely nothing. And these resources, if you were to buy them, would cost you hundreds of dollars. And in fact, most of them were generated and created from products that I sell uh, that cost hundreds of dollars that you get completely for free. So head to from studiostage.com slash free to check those out and make sure you stick around on the channel, post new content every single day, 10 a.m. Central goes live. So hit the subscribe button to make sure you see that. Click the remind me button to make sure you're reminded uh, and turn on notifications so that you see that content go live and would love to see you on the next one. So take care, everybody. Bye.